Heath. Heath. Hey, come here. Where are you? I'm out here. We're going to split. Where? I can't even see you. I'm right here, girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I told you. You we're got start to at be night. kidding. <laughs> wow, these things are bright. What in the world? There ain't enough time in the day. We gotta start working nights. <laughs> I can't even believe how bright these are. Wow. How are they powered? We don't have, there's not power on this pole, is there? No, it's that power pack that I got. Oh, this thing? Yeah. You're kidding. No. Nope. It can power, it can juice all this? These are so bright. You said you always wanted some string lights for ambiance. Now yeah. we got them in right. the wood yard. In the wood yard. <laughs> You're such a romantic. I uh, thought, did you say we were splitting? Where did the thing go? All wood? Yeah. I got it on the truck back here. I had to move it so I could get these lights oh. strung out. Oh, uh, okay. Well. Go get it. <laughs> All right. Is this what we're doing? This stuff here? Yeah, we're going to knock down some of these. Hey, everybody. Welcome <laughs> to Hard Working Man. Uh, after dark edition, I am bundled up like a marshmallow because it's still cold as crap out here in Michigan. And <laughs> it's not that bad. Heath. I'll be in a sweatshirt, maybe a t-shirt by the end of this. He'll probably be in a t-shirt because he's insane. But uh -huh. That's what she meant to say. And <laughs> so anyways, we're out here. We're going to split a bunch of logs, but it's only possible because we have this nifty battery power station so um heath surprised me i didn't know this thing was gonna be lighting it up so brightly so um you know everything about it i don't i don't know what all right back, so i so. haven't bought anything for a while oh shut up why are you I leaving with that i have it yeah he, but then mm -hmm. this company reached out to us ebl and they're like hey we can send you this 500 watt power pack i believe they're called solar generators but it's basically just a power pack. It allows you to run 120 volt AC products on a battery pack. And I was always like, meh, what's the difference between that and just a battery with an inverter? Well, there's a lot of difference. And I was surprised as small as this thing is and as light as, as, and as light as it is, what it can actually do. And one of the main things I was excited mm -hmm. for, I'm gonna sound like an old man here, but was can this thing power my sleep apnea machine? I have an right. ASV machine and I went for years just thinking, you know what? I'm always tired. I'm a dad. I go to all my kids' sports. I work a lot. Like I'm always doing stuff. I guess this is just life as you get older. I'm not huge on going to the doctor. I finally went to the doctor and I have absolutely terrible sleep apnea. He had no idea what it was from. He thought my heart was failing. And I got an ASV machine, which is a few steps up from the typical CPAP machine, and it absolutely changed my life. Yes. How much more amazing am I now, Rachel, with that than I was without it? I was <laughs> hoping you would be less grumpy because I thought that I am was... way less grumpy. I thought that was because you were always so tired, but it could just be your personality. Come on. I'm just kidding. Anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> we had talked about going camping like in Yellowstone, but a lot of these campgrounds, we tent camp, by the way. If you know Heath, you know there's no camper involved. So that's camping. These um, trailers are rustic camping. all the way. So they don't have electric at their sites, at least the ones that I found. And so we just nixed that trip because he can't go without electric. How is he going to use his machine? He can't. And he will die. So uh, <laughs> this I, thing, actually, he hooked it up and he tried it out a couple nights. No problems. It ran all night with the 
uh, humidifier, which takes a lot of power because it's heat to evaporate water. And after a full night's sleep running my ASV machine with this power pack, it still, it used I think around 40%. So I could run two nights on this without recharging. It can be recharged with solar, with AC. It can be recharged through the cigarette lighter in my vehicle. So if we're out camping, I bought an inverter generator that's quiet, but there's still places you can't even use that. Right. And it quit making power. So it doesn't do me much good until I get it fixed. But trying this out, I was like, you know what? That's gonna be awesome. For one two night camping trips, or if it's longer, I'll just have to recharge mm -hmm. it. But it'll run my CPAP machine or my ASV machine. And it can run a little noise making machine because we usually sleep with a fan. Yeah, or camp, even we... if we like lose power in our house and don't have a generator, like you yes, need I can, your machine. I can use this. I actually thought, you know what, I'll be all right. I went hunting in Ohio with my son. It was one night. I said, I'm not bringing a generator. I'm not gonna bring the machine. I'll be fine. I maybe slept for an hour and a half and I woke up constantly having nightmares that someone was sitting on my chest strangling me. That's how bad it is. I can't sleep without this machine. And so I was sort of excited when they were like, hey, we can send you this pack. And I said, can it run my machine? And they said, yes, because I thought, you know what? But, but I was excited because this gives me a chance to bring something to light that I ignored for years. It was probably 10 years that I should have had a machine and didn't. Way too and long. it changed my life when I got it. I don't go to the doctor much, but I'm glad I did for this. And if you're always tired, if you snore, if your wife tells you that you stop breathing when you're sleeping, don't, she literally, don't even tell. She literally no, no, no. came to bed one night no. and I was in bed don't and she tell that thought story. I was dead. She <laughs> thought I was dead. So Why what's a loving wife story? do? Does she say, no. oh my God, my husband's dead. Let me try to save him. No, You she can't said, tell this story on national she YouTube. Said, if he's dead now, he'll, he'll be, be dead, dead in, in the morning. morning. Was I I'm wrong? I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> so she didn't dare to touch me because she thought I was dead. I thought there was a chance he wasn't fully <laughs> sleeping, but he would still not be sleeping in the morning. Too late. Luckily for all of you, I wasn't dead, I'm so here I am. That all out. That. You're not putting that in. But anyway, I went to Menards. I bought these string lights. It's just a set of Flexzilla string lights. And I'm like, you know what? I didn't know if floodlights would be better, these mm. string lights, but I thought these would be great for camping. They'll be great out back. Like I can use them for a bunch of different things. And I wanted to try them with this power pack. So I ran some paracord. They've got little carabiner clips on them. I clipped them up. I told Rachel, let's go out and work. And she thought we were gonna do what we normally do with my little Milwaukee light or vehicle headlights or the flashlight on my hat. But no, once again, mm -hmm. I blew her away with my ingenuity and just my awesomeness, I guess. So we've got the EBL power pack. We've got the all wood. It's warmed up. We've got some logs. We're getting this driveway cleaned up. We're going to make this house look beautiful for Rachel. So <laughs> let's get to splitting. <laughs> That's a Roseanne laugh. What are you? Why do you say such lies? Come on. Why are you such a liar? I'm just sticking her through.
these are going to be too big. Tell you what, this thing makes a pile of firewood in a hurry when you're not worried about stacking it into a trailer or something. We definitely need to get an elevator. Just saying. Yeah. That'll go good in my kitchen. Just saying. 
Hi, just a little test of the new lights, Flexilla lights. I just picked them up at Menards. We'll go uh, check the power pack and see uh, how much of it we use to split this wood. You can pile the wood up in a hurry with that machine. Getting yep. this driveway cleared up. A little bit left. There's all the wood from Splitter Wars. Gonna <laughs> have to start stacking into IBC totes here. Maybe we'll invite Shibe over. I think he likes stacking. Shibe loves stacking. Loves Maybe he'll bring it. Sam. Sam likes it more than Shibe. Sam does like it more than Shibe. I heard that on a live once. We got the 2007 Chevy Silverado back. Oh, Lordy. We got tornadoes under the hood. <laughs> Hard working man, YouTube. We're at 93%. 93%. So we were at, I think, about 98 when we came out here. So 5%. And we'll see how long that was. But we can work out here for hours, girl. Hours. You're love it. Man, nighttime splitting. This will come in handy in the summer when it's hot. For sure. Except the bugs. I don't like bugs. All right, so here it is, the little power pack we use to power our lights with. It's the EBL MP500. It's a 500 watt multi-purpose power station and it has 519 watt hours. So I'm not an electrician or anything, but basically depending on how much power your equipment is drawing, that'll give you an idea how long it'll run it for. The thing I was most excited about was that ASV machine that I need for sleeping and it'll run that with the humidifier for two nights without recharging it. So you can charge this three different ways. It comes with this power supply pack. You can just plug it into your wall outlet. It comes with a cigarette lighter or power supply for DC charging through your car. And then it comes with this, which you can hook to a solar panel if you have a solar panel. So if we're camping, I'd like to get a solar panel maybe so that can be out charging it all day. And then I'll use it at night while I'm sleeping. But it worked great for these lights. They're just Flexzilla LED string lights that I bought from Menards. And as you saw in this video, it lets us come out here, get some more work done at night, and we can see good to get everything accomplished. So um, right now, I believe on Amazon, this power pack is around $350. It's on sale, but that price can change from day to day on Amazon. All right, one thing I liked about this power pack that some other ones didn't have is that it's got a wireless charging deck right on top. So when it's on, I can just throw my iPhone up there and it starts charging it at 10 watts. It's got two of the AC output plugs. And an important thing, if you're gonna use this to power my sleeping machine, a laptop, sensitive electronics, you need to get one with the pure sine wave power because without it you can damage your electronics and I do not want to damage my machine. It's also got three USB and one type C outputs and then it's got the DC outputs as well, your regular cigarette lighter and then a 14 volt 8 amp DC output. It's got a light on it so you can turn that on when you're getting set up or setting things up and if you click it twice it actually sends out an SOS strobe feature which I'm not sure if you would ever need that but if you do it's available so couple of things about this that some other didn't have and that wireless charging deck on top I really like. And then another thing we got is this bag for it. It's a fireproof and waterproof bag and I can put all the wires, cables, chargers in there and then the unit in here so that way when we're getting set up for camping and whatnot everything's in one place ready to go. So if you guys are interested in this check out the link down below. It's the EBLWP 500 power station. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.